Hello scholars and welcome back to Writing with Miss Rogers. You guys already know that I love my kindergartners and you know we always put our heart up. And today we're going to be talking about telling about something that we can do. But we need to make sure that as good writers we are following all of the rules that I'm going to teach you guys. So you know that we use meeple spaces in between our words, right? So you guys know that the first thing we do, we're making sure we're sitting up straight in front of our cameras. We're making sure our feet are flat. We're making sure our pencil is gripped nicely because I know that you guys already know how to do this, okay? So we're making sure that we're ready to write. Say yes, I'm ready. Say yes, I'm ready. Good. So we're gonna start off by writing our name at the top. And you guys do remember our left to right song, right? So we already know that left to right, left to right. When we write, we go left to right. Okay, so let's practice that first. So I'm gonna face the board actually, so you guys can see which way we're gonna be writing. So left, so actually let's put up our magic fingers and get ready. Okay, ready? Left to right, left to right. When we write, we go left to right. Your turn, left to right, left to right. When we write, we go left to right. Good job, so left to right is how Miss Rogers is always writing. We need to remember that. So I'm gonna start off by writing my name, my first and last name. So you're gonna be writing your first and last name. So I know that my first name is Miss, so I'm gonna write Miss, very nice and neat because in Miss Rogers' class we strive for excellence. We want our work to be nice and neat. We don't wanna have sloppy work. Do we wanna have sloppy work? Put a thumbs down. No, exactly. We wanna make sure our work is neat. So I wrote my first name, which is Miss, and we're gonna put a meatball space. So imagine putting a big meatball right here. Do we wanna write our words on top of each other? Thumbs down. No, we don't, because then it's gonna look sloppy. And what are we supposed to do? Have nice and neat work, right? Exactly. So, put our meatball space in between. And I'm gonna start with Rogers now. So I know my first name is Miss Rogers. So I have my meatball space here. And now I'm gonna write Rogers. And look, so you see our meatball space, right? So you guys are gonna do the same thing. You always wanna make sure you have a meatball space in between. And we also don't wanna put our letters too close either, but, we, but we're good. I know you guys are good with that. But make sure that meatball space is very, very, very important, okay? Okay, so let's begin. So today, we are going to be talking about something that we can do. We're gonna be talking about something that we can do. Hmm. So let's talk about our steps of the writing process that I know you guys already know, and then we can begin. Okay, so we are going to be talking about something that we can do. So maybe you like riding a bike, maybe you make bracelets, you can do anything. Anything that you guys like to do, we're gonna be talking about. So you already know that our first step so first, what do we do? We think. What do we do first? Think. What do we do? We think, exactly. So first we think and then we draw. So that's our first step. So Ms. Rogers is gonna think about what I want to put on my paper. So you know that all we do is start off with thinking about it. So, hmm, I know that I like to do my cousin's hair. Okay, so that's something that I can do. And she really likes when I do it. Hmm. So I think I'm thinking about it, and that's what I want to draw. So first we think and then we draw, because you know we always draw beautiful pictures along with our story, right? So that's our step one. First we think and then we draw. So I know that I like to do my cousin's hair. So that's what I'm going to draw today, okay? So Ms. Rogers is going to draw 
her doing her cousin's hair. And my cousin likes when, sh when I straighten her hair, okay? So we're gonna start off, so now I have to think about how I want my picture to look, so I know I'm gonna be in my picture, and I know my cousin's gonna be in my picture, I know that I'm gonna be doing her hair in the picture, and I'm gonna be in my room. So, I thought about that, and I'm gonna put that on paper. So let's start. So here goes Miss Rogers, and you know what, I'm gonna have a big smile on my face because I love my cousin. That's one of my best friends. Even though that's my cousin, she's still one of my best friends in the whole wide world. So Miss Rogers is gonna put her hair in a ponytail because Miss Rogers is doing her cousin's hair. So Miss Rogers won't have her hair down. She's gonna be having her hair in a ponytail today, right? So let me put Miss Rogers' outfit. I'm gonna have on a nice little a nice little dress. Miss Rogers loves dresses. We'll put a different color for Miss Rogers today because what's Miss Rogers' favorite color? Pink. But we're gonna do blue today. We'll do blue with some stripes. That's my little doing hair outfit. And now I'm gonna put my legs and my feet, my arms. It's gonna be stretched out because I'm doing my cousin's hair. So now Miss Rogers is gonna put her cousin in a chair. So this is her cousin. And I know that my cousin's gonna be so happy that I'm doing her hair. So we put smiley faces, because my cousin loves being around me too. And I'm gonna make her hair really, really, I'm gonna do part of it straight, because that's the part that Miss Rogers has already done. Right? And then I'll do this part really curly, because Miss Rogers didn't get to that part yet. Okay, so that's Miss Rogers doing her hair. And then I'll put a little flat iron in my hand because I'm flat ironing her hair, right? So my cousin's gonna be sitting in a chair. So I'm gonna make my chair here too. I'll make my chair. Then I gotta finish my cousin's body. My cousin's gonna have on purple. Hmm, let's see. So my cousin, my cousin is sitting down in the chair. She has on her little outfit. She's sitting down. And then I'll add her legs because I'm doing her hair. You see? And there goes her feet. And that's Miss Rogers doing her hair. But I know that I'm in my room. So what else should I add? I add my bed in my room. So let's add Miss Rogers' bed. Got her bed right here. Put a little pillow. My little comforter set. Let's add a little window in my room because I have a window. And I'm gonna add the sun in the window because it's beautiful out. Got the sun shining through the window doing her cousin's hair. So look, that is Miss Rogers. That's Miss Rogers' cousin. And I'm doing her hair. So we see that she's still got a little bit of curly hair and she's straightened this part already. So we already drew our picture. So first we thought about what we were going to do. We thought about how we wanted our picture to look. We thought about exactly what I like to do. So I thought about it and then I put my thoughts down by drawing a picture. And that's what we always have been doing, right? So first we think and then we draw. Second step, we think again and then we write. So what's the second step? Tell me. So we think again and then we write because we have to think about the words that we want to put on the paper. So now let's start with our second step. So scholars, the next step we need to think about our words. The next step we need to, the next step we need to, I can't hear you guys. The next step we need to, yes, we need to think about our words, okay? So let me think about what I wanna put. So, okay, hmm. Um, I know that I like doing my cousin's hair. So I like to do my cousin's hair. So I'm gonna say that to myself five times. 
I like to do my cousin's hair. So whenever we think about what we're going to write, we're gonna say, once we think about it, we're gonna say it to ourselves five times. So you guys ready? I like to do my cousin's hair. 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 And I like to do my cousin's hair. Okay, that's five times. So now I know exactly what I wanna write on the paper. So now you guys are gonna help me write this sentence down, okay? You guys are great spellers, you guys are great writers, so I know that you guys can help me do this, okay? So what do you think we're gonna start with? I said, I like to do my cousin's hair. So I, what are we gonna put on the paper first? An uppercase or a lowercase I? Thumbs up for uppercase. You are right. If you have your thumbs up, you are so right. So we're gonna start with an uppercase I. So I'm gonna start from the headline and I'm gonna write I nice. Perfect. So guys, are we gonna write my word right here? Am I gonna start writing right here, right next on top of the I? Thumbs down. No, we don't do that. So what do we do? What does Miss Rogers always do in between our words? Here's a hint. Look at that space right there. What do we call that space? A meatball space. Good, so we're acting like we're plopping a big meatball and we're gonna plop the meatball right here. So remember, reread so we know what comes next. So I like to do my cousin's hair. So I got my meatball space. I had to reread it to myself so I know what comes next. I like, so let's start with like. Ooh. L. What does that sound like? What letter does that sound like I'm gonna put on the paper? L, L. The letter L, correct. You guys are so smart. So L, so I can't look, I got my meatball space. So now, let's finish like. Eh, 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 eh. What letter does that sound like? Eh, eh, eh. Hmm. I. Good job. So, eh, eh. I. Good job. And k, 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 k. This one might be a little bit tricky. K, k. That's the letter K. Good job. Eh. Uh, let me give you guys a hint. Uh, uh, egg, elephant, it starts with these words. Elephant, egg, hmm. What do you guys think? E, E, I heard you. Good job, letter E. Wow, we already finished. So remember, re-read so we know what comes next. Your turn, re-read so we know what comes next, okay? So I'm gonna reread my sentence to myself. I like to do my cousin's hair. So we, we're missing, right? We're missing some words. So I like to, that's our next word. So we're gonna plop our meatball space. Good. T -t 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 -t. What letter does that sound like? The letter T, good. Uh, remember, with this letter, sometimes we could see the letter with our mouth. So, what does that look like? Ah, uh, ooh. What do you think that letter is? Two. The letter O, good. So, I like to. Nice, so we read so we know what comes next. I like to do my cousin's hair. So we got another meatball space, plop that meatball there. So now I like to do, duh, duh, duh. What does that sound like? What letter is that, duh? The letter D, so I like to D. <laughs> oh. 
What does that look like? Uh, ooh. What letter? We, we just did this letter, just a hint. O. Good job! So I like to do good. We are almost finished. So I like to do my cousin's hair. So meatball space again. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. That's the letter M. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So that's going to be the letter Y. So when I say yeah, 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 that'll be the letter Y. That'll be our new thing. So I like to do my... Okay, so we read, so we know what comes next. I like to do my cousin's hair. I like to do my... So we're gonna add cousins. I'm gonna start down here, and you know we go left to right. So you guys see how I'm writing, right? Good. So I'm gonna start down here, just so I make sure I have space. So we're gonna do cousins. So this might be hard. Cu, 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 cu. This one might be tricky. This is the letter C. But ooh, whenever I say oh, I'm gonna go ooh, and you guys will know that that's an O. C O. Uh, uh, hmm. Uh, what does that letter sound like? Up. Uh, umbrella. What do you think that letter is? Uh, U. So up, umbrella, that starts with the U. So we're gonna put a U here. And What letter do you think that is? S. S. Good job. And eh, eh, eh. So there's gonna be a lot of repeats. So that's the letter I. And mmm. Mmm. Nice. Nice. The letter N. Good job. And I'm adding. Okay. So I like to do my cousin's hair. So I'm adding an S. My cousin. Okay. My cousins. Meeples, please. And hair. <sighs> hair. H. Good. Meeples, please. H. A. 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 Apple. Apple. What letter do you guys think that is? The letter A. Good job! You guys are really awesome. And eh, eh, eh. We've done this one three times already. Eh, eh, eh. What letter? The letter I. Good. And this last one? Err. Hmm, I'll give you a hint. Err. I'll give you a little hint. What letter is that? Rock, rock. Rough, 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 rough. <laughs> the letter R. Nice. And we ended off with a period. Say yes, I'm awesome. Say yes, I'm awesome. Yes, you are. So look, first we thought and then we drew. So first you think and then you draw. Second step, think and then we write, okay? You guys have already done this. You guys are so good at this now. So we make sure we put our meatball spaces in between, right? Our meatball space, we drew our picture. So sometimes when we finish early, so we already finished our sentence, right? So if you guys finish your sentence early or you wanna add some details to your picture, you can. 
So let's add some details to our cool picture. So I'm gonna add my comforter set. I'm gonna add some stuff to my comforter set. Kinda have zigzags on my comforter set, so I'm gonna add some zigzags. I'm gonna make my pillow black and pink, cause that's the color of Miss Rogers' pillow. And it has zigzags too. So I added some black and pink zigzags to my comforter, right? I have a pink curtain, I'll add a curtain here. You know the sun is shining. The sun is shining through the curtains. Nice. What else should Miss Rogers add? Hmm. What else? Because we already have, see I just added a little bit more details to my picture, right? You know what, I'll add my TV in the back. TV. Got my TV on. And, hmm, you know what I'm gonna put on my TV? I'm gonna watch my reading mastery. So I'm learning how to do my letters. Watching that on my TV for my students. Isn't that awesome? So we finished early. We were able to add some details to our picture. We got our meatball spaces in between. We thought about what we were gonna draw. We thought about what we were gonna write. And look how amazing you guys did this. So now it is your turn to do the same exact thing. And I want you guys to follow how I did it, okay? And I'm so happy and proud of you guys. Love you guys, bye-bye.